How you doing, John Zimmerman, TabletClass.com, here to try to help you out with dividing fractions. Everyone's favorite topic, fractions, and um, you know, this is uh, as a teacher, I just know that uh, students just hated fractions, and I'm sure I did way back in the quote-unquote day. <laughs> Anyways, it's uh, it's actually pretty easy if you know how to multiply fractions. So if you don't know how to multiply fractions, you'll never get how to divide fractions. So um, let's just assume that you know how to multiply fractions. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, division problems in with we're talking about fractions here. We're going to turn them into multiplication problems. Okay, so how do we do that? It's real easy. Okay, when you're dividing one fraction by the other, the way I have it this way, you're going to flip this fraction right here. You're going to flip it. In other words, I have one over four. I'm going to turn this into 4 over 1, and then I'm going to turn it into a multiplication problem. Let me actually show it to you. It's easier uh, to show it to you than to try to explain it. So I'm going to go 2 thirds. Now instead of having a division problem, I'm going to turn it into a multiplication problem. But to do that, I need to take this fraction and flip it upside down. Okay, so instead of 1 over 4, it's going to be 4 over 1. Okay, so that's it. You just basically take division problems in fractions, turn them into multiplication problems, and then what we have to do when you're multiplying fractions, recall, you just simply multiply the respective numerators or those top numbers and denominators. Okay, so this is going to be 2 times 4, which is 8, and 3 times 1 is 3, and you're done. 8 over 3, and of course you can do all kinds of interesting things with your answer, turn it into a mixed number, reduce it, whatever. Okay, But this is the general idea when we're talking about dividing fractions. Let's take a look at one other example. Here I have 2 fifths divided by 2 and 1 half. So how do I deal with the 2 and 1 half? Anytime you're dealing with mixed numbers, I strongly suggest that you turn them into um, an improper fraction. So let's just do that off to the side. So 2 and 1 half. Okay, I can write that as 2 times 2, which is 4 plus 1, or 5 halves. Okay, so that's how you turn a mixed number, okay, in other words, a number and a fraction, like so, into an uh, improper fraction. All right, so that's 5 halves. So really, this problem here is 2 fifths divided by 5 halves. Okay, so I'm going to write that 2 and 1 half this way. Okay, remember they're equal to one another. Then we're going to follow the same steps. Okay, I'm going to turn this division problem into a multiplication problem by flipping this fraction around. So I'm going to get 2 fifths times okay, 5 over 2. When I flip it around, okay, it's called finding the reciprocal. It's going to be 2 over 5. Okay, we want to make sure that we did it right. And then we have 2 fifths times 2 fifths, and to find that product, we go ahead and multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators, and we get 2 times 2 is 4, 5 times 5 is 25, and we're done. Okay, so you can put away your homework, get right over to your PSP or your Xbox or whatever you're doing, and um, have some actual real fun. But anyways, listen, hopefully that video helps you out. I'd love for you to leave some comments tabletclass.com. This is where we specialize on clear and understandable math. We got a ton of stuff there for you. Downloadable videos, notes, tests, uh, this, everything you need. And uh, our customers love us because we explain things, not talk down to you, explain things in a clear and understandable manner. And um, hopefully you will try our 30-day free trial. Okay. Good luck to yourself and have fun.